Hello good people and welcome to the Peasant Gamers. Yet again we have another tech video. Today's video is an unboxing of the Asus Strix 5700 XT from AMD and it's a water block made by Bysky. The water block is available for purchase at around $80 without the shipment cost. The reason I make such videos on a gaming channel is because I couldn't find any reviews on this specific product and being budget gamers we want cheap and affordable budgets that will get the job done. I'll put a link down in the comment section down below in case you want to minimize your risk and buy from the same vendor uh, that I brought from. Before we get into the video however, I have a disclaimer again. This is not a paid or sponsored video at all. This is also not meant to serve as a recommendation or guarantee for the product. If you want to buy this product after watching the video, do so at your own risk because the nature of such online markets and the plethora of shipping options makes it very hard to give you a solid recommendation. Now then, let's get down to the video. Okay, here's the package again and it's again in very good shape. Um, I don't want to show you the uh, address here. Uh, but yeah, it looks really uh, in really good condition. Let's kind of crack it open. Okay, so here's the package. Uh, it's it, I opened it from the wrong way around. So, All right, but anyway, let's just take this thing out. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good, good condition. Really good condition. I do not mind this at all. All right. So good bubble wrapping. Yeah. Keep in mind, I have cats. So. So there's like two brands that I see very common. That this one's the, I don't know, Bixki or something. Uh, you could find that in AliExpress. All of AliExpress. They make lots of other products. Um, the other one would be Borrow. It's called Borrow. I put a picture here somewhere, you know. And they seem to have a lot of products on this. They are probably a small company, but it seems to be very good packaging. There seems to be some sort of uh, description with them, which I'm not even going to bother going over. It's... Yeah, that's a pretty good seal. So I know that it's not messed around during shipment. Nice. Uh, so what do we get? First, let's look at what's inside here. Hmm. All right, thermal pads. Let's look at the thermal pads, see if it's enough. So you get, I believe these are one millimeter. Yeah, what do you guys think? I think that's a one millimeter. Uh, can't really focus probably, but yeah, you get four. I think this is going to be sufficient for the RAMs, but if not, you could just get some of them. It's not that expensive anyway. Honestly, advisable to get yourself some better thermal pads, but if you don't want to, then there's that. Some sort of connector, I'm not sure where. Alright, so these are your plugs, you know, in case you want the water to flow some other way. So as you can see, these they have this logo. I'm going to gleam the light of it. God, this cat's... Well, for those not interested, you can look at the cat. Um, you get all the screws you need uh, to fit in the blocks. That is really neat. I didn't think that they would provide me that. Yep. You get all the washers. You get all the screws. Good. Oh, what do we have here? They seem to have an instruction. I like that. Because clearly we need an instruction manual, right? Wow, that is elaborate. So that is absolutely nice. So you, they tell you what to do. They even tell you where to paste your thermal pads. I like that. This is again a controller for your RGB. I think you can use this with you can replace other controllers with this one. I think every, I don't know, AliExpress uh, custom water cooling kind of comes with this controller. Every one of them. I've, I've done a review on a Sys cooling water cooling kit and they came with the same thing. <clears throat> it's just that they have a different, you know, thing on it. But yeah. 
another controller. That's that's a proper four pin LED controller. Again, a Molex power supply. Why? I don't know. Let's see. That's phew, that's the most amount of thermal pa <laughs> thermal paste you would ever get, right? Another controller. Really, these are shit. But oh well. Now this would be your paste applier because unlike, um, keep in mind for someone new to these things, unlike a CPU, you have to spread the um, thermal paste evenly on the chip on the die of the graphics card because it doesn't have a heat spreader, so you need to apply it evenly across all the surface. So that's why they give this you know, pretty neat. Um, let's look at the actual water block itself really nice packaging you know it's almost like a graphics card packaging wow that is the biggest water block I've ever had my hands on right. it has a seal on it let's open it up Gat. it's always a tape Okay, so let's get this thing out. That's a really big one. That is so shiny, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Not sure we can see much detail on it. But anyway, it's it's so clear that it can reflect everything around my room as well. Anyway, these are your, this would be your MOSFETs, uh, for power faces, contacts for your memory, and this would be the actual uh, GPU die where you would put it and it's gonna go all like this and water is gonna come over here and exit out so you can have either come here come out or you can have one here and one out so you have all the proper necessary uh, plugs for it you have two so you can seal the two ports wherever you want to really good quality this is solid acrylic and metal I like this I I like the quality. It's it's not cheap at all. This is proper thick, um, as you can see. It's not thin as well. It's a really, it's really good. Um, so anyway, that's gonna be it, I think. Oh, yeah, if you wanna look, uh, there's the fin uh, among the GPU. It's not a flat panel, so that's good. Actually, it's good quality. It's like half the price of your EK water block. Anyway, my cats are getting in the way, so I'm gonna wrap this one up. Kindly, please consider not uh, to not use this video as a recommendation or any sponsored content because it isn't. Buy it if you want to at your own risk. And I think this is a good one, but I will have to see whether it actually performs well. Um, so click the subscribe button so that I can post the video and you can check it out later, right? Anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure to click the subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos like this or game reviews that I will be doing more on. Um, if you like the video, click the like button. If you don't like it, let us know why you don't like it. Or if you want more details about this card, you can uh, hit me down in the comments down below so I can reach you out there. Anyway, thank you for watching. I've been your host, Tiny Spear, and I'll see you on the next one.